<laughs> Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to unbox and set up the Power Egg from Power Vision. This egg-shaped drone has been turning heads at CES and Interdrone for more than a year. This video is brought to you by the Academy of Model Aeronautics. More than 80 years of protecting our rights to fly, and now offering commercial drone insurance, including hull coverage and up to $2 million in liability protection. Inside the box, you'll find this really sturdy case with a latch and a hard plastic shell. I'd call it a carrying case, except that it doesn't have a handle, which seems like a really strange choice to me. Inside, we find the drone itself, and a stand you can use to put it on display. I'm gonna be honest, this is an amazing design. I bet you could put this in a museum and pass it off as modern art. It's practical too. You may not need a carrying case because you can just stuff this thing in your bag and go. Do not try that with a Phantom. But on the other hand, if you drop this thing on a hill, it could roll away on you. Alongside the drone was this zippered case which contains the primary flight controller and the aircraft battery. The battery is four cells with a 6400 milliamp hour capacity. I'm pleasantly surprised by the controller. In spite of its game console looks, it feels really sturdy in my hands. And this mounting arm is made out of solid metal. I really like it. The case also includes the Maestro, which allows you to control the aircraft one-handed, the base station, which mounts your tablet or smartphone and receives video and telemetry, and some cables, an A to micro B USB cable, and what looks like a couple of 1 8 inch audio cables. Here's the battery charger, which looks like the Hydra that Hercules fought on the shores of Lake Lerna. We've got a power cable for the charger and a carry bag for the accessories, plus some paperwork, including manuals in English, French, and Spanish. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I like to show you everything about how to set up a new drone but I usually get some pushback from the video team about the simple stuff, like how to charge the batteries. They argue you guys are smart enough to figure that out on your own, and, and sometimes it's hard to disagree with them. But when I showed them this thing, they were completely fine with it. We've got four separate heads here. Three of them look like micro USBs, although one of them is red, plus we've got this one custom connector. The custom connector charges the flight battery, and the two white micro USBs charge the controllers. The red USB plugs into the base station. The base station will charge in about five hours. The controller takes about three and a half hours. The aircraft battery takes about two and a half hours and the Maestro takes two hours. Once everything is charged, go ahead and mount your smart device on the base station. It has a clever design that allows it to accommodate both phones and small tablets. Mount the base station on the controller, and then use this cable to connect the two. If you're flying the Maestro, it's the same connection. Power up the radio and the base station. You connect to the base station using Wi-Fi, and the default password is 12345678900. To prepare the aircraft for flight, insert a charged battery, making sure it's aligned correctly. Deploy the motor limbs. Now, remove the gimbal cover, as well as this protective foam ring. You never want to power up an aircraft if the gimbal's not free to move. Unfortunately, now you're stuck awkwardly holding the aircraft like this until you can deploy the undercarriage. Power up the aircraft, and then once the system is done initializing, quickly press the power button three times to deploy the landing legs. Now we can get a look at the rest of the aircraft. It's got a three axis brushless gimbal with a 4K video camera, which is riding on vibration dampeners. It comes with a 16 gigabyte memory card already installed. We've also got ultrasonic sensors for altitude detection, as well as an optical flow camera for position hold at low altitude or in GPS denied environments. Straighten out the propellers and you're ready to go flying. The Vision Plus app is definitely Spartan by modern standards and the video shows typical lag for a digital downlink. In our next episode, 
We'll take the power egg out in the field and see how she performs. So be sure to click subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Fly safe. There you are. Oh. Oh. Okay, and whenever you're ready. Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to unbox the Power Egg from Power Vision. I'm sucking. Here today to unbox the Power Egg Oops. that Hercules fought on the shores of Lake Lerna. You little freak. Ah. <laughs> Hi, buddy. How we doing? Hmm?